Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Christmas week. I uh, had not planned on really uploading another video, but uh, I was sitting around a couple days ago noodling up a, uh, a version of We Three Kings or Paul Georgia told me it sounded a little bit like, uh, what's that other song? Uh, God Rest You Married Gentlemen. And so I don't know which one it suits more than uh, uh, than the other, perhaps. But uh, maybe you could let me know. Is this We Three Kings or is this God Rest You Married Gentlemen? Uh, and then we'll, we'll see which one it is. But I'm going to do a slow version of it. And then I'm going to do a fast version of it. So I don't... I've heard this song before, but I've never really watched anybody else play it before. So I was, you know, one of the cool things about fingerstyle is uh, the ability to stay on the neck if you want to and still produce what I think would be a, uh, a very nice sounding fingerstyle guitar song. And so with that... I hope this one kind of encourages you a little bit. I'll do some close-ups on the fretboard so you can kind of watch me do it a little bit, uh, both slow and fast. And then uh, if you're somewhat proficient at fingerstyle, you can probably figure out what I'm doing. If you would uh, like me to teach this at some point, uh, string by string, then let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to do it. So, But I, but I do want to say to everybody... Uh, the the white Christmas video I uploaded a day or two back, I was uh, I, I was extremely tired, and I uh, probably shouldn't do videos when I'm like that. But uh, I did want to upload a video that night, so uh, apologies if it sounded like uh, uh, I just lost my dog or something. <laughs> but uh, that's not really what happened. What happened was was I was uh, I was just very tired. So I think. Uh, I think everybody, I, I still say it uh, every time I, I look at YouTube and I think how, you know, right now we're sitting over, th well over 1,300 subscribers. I don't, I don't quite know how all that happened, but, uh, uh, but it means a lot, folks. It really does mean a lot. And, you know, you know this channel, I hope, if you're a subscriber, you should know it, that uh, I respond to comments. Now, that's... That may be the major reason I'm on YouTube is just the interaction with folks, and because I enjoy that. I mean, I I do that for a living, and I do that. Uh, it's the reason I kind of the reason I do YouTube, and hopefully it encourages you to stay on your guitar skills, uh, stay working on them. Uh, admittedly, I haven't played a lot in the last month. And, uh, of course, my fingers were raw after doing this one. And when you, when you hear it, you'll know why they were raw. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's important to pick a guitar up every day and play and spend a little time with it. And I'm not talking five or ten minutes. I'm talking an hour or two, at least, at a minimum. So, you know, if you're really trying to pull your guitar skills up, don't forget to invest the time. That's... Uh, uh, you know, it'll, it'll save your fingers from having to get reacquainted with what skin feels like on steel when you're stroking it at 90 miles an hour. <laughs> so anyway, with that, I'll, I'll try to, I'm going to try to do an unedited video, but I, I don't think it's going to work out. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to go into this, but uh, we will see if, uh, if I manage to get through it in one take. Uh, it, it's, I would say it's probably not likely, but we'll give it a shot, y'all. All right, so here, here's how the tune goes. Here's the slow version piece of it first. And I'll try to scoot over here just a little bit. Get this microphone positioned such that hopefully what happens is is uh, uh, you end up uh, getting, getting a chance to hear it for what it really is, okay? And then I'll try to do some close-up shots of this picking hand and this fretting hand as well. And this is uh, going to start out, it's in A minor, okay?
Now, if that's, uh, that's something you'd like to learn uh, and, uh, and for me to walk you through it, uh, I did some close-ups in this so that you could see the fretboard for those of you that are proficient. If you've never tried to play this song before, I will tell you I've been working on it for two days. I've said this before. If I'm going to noodle up something, why don't I noodle up something easier? <laughs> uh, as far as an arrangement is, is concerned... But you don't really get challenged to buy noodling easy stuff. Uh, I think you get challenged when you noodle some more difficult stuff. And I don't think this one's at its final stage with what I want to do with it. Uh, I'm just going to say that I, I think this one gives you good exercise. Uh, the last several mornings I've spent two hours easy just on this song trying to practice it because the part that really got me was when you go from when you go to this C right here let me let me do it from from here that's C and don't ask me now why I, why I can't seem to get it down <laughs> I have, to, I have to kind of play the thing all the way through and get mentally. This is one of those for me that requires a lot of mental preparation to play the tune. Uh, but anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. And I, I, I was uh, on the phone the other day with Paul, and uh, we were, and and actually, I'd sent him a text message with a, a, a really crappy version of this that I was working on. And said, you know what song this is? Because I figure somebody could at least tell what song it is. You're on to something. He texted me back and said, yeah, it sounds like God rest you married gentlemen. I said, well, I thought it was We Three Kings. <laughs> and he goes, well, maybe they both sound a lot alike, you know. Uh, but uh, he said, the only suggestion I'd make is slow it down. So I had a really hard time trying to slow this thing down. And only about two hours ago did I uh, find a way to slow it down. So I thought I'd start with the slow and then go to the fast, show you both ways it can be done. And not only both ways it can be done, uh, but how you can kind of mix things up, you know, uh, start out, do it slow and then run in, you know, jump into the fast version of it. And I think it it adds a little spike to the curiosity, a little satisfaction to uh, uh, where the song's going, if, if, if that makes sense. So but anyway, there you go, folks. I, I hope uh, it's helpful. If you want to learn it, I'll be happy to teach it. Uh, uh, for those of you that are uh, very proficient in finger style, I hope the close-up shots solved all that for you. You'd probably hear the notes and know where to go. So with that, I'll just say it's a great Christmas week. Uh, again, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas, and I'm sure you will. And uh, and I hope uh, hope you get lots of guitars for Christmas. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. That'd be a good thing, wouldn't it? Anyway, uh, each and every one of you mean a lot to me. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. God bless. We'll see you next time.